Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with a screenwriter's rant on The Commando. Not Commando, but The Commando. Commando was the 80s movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. This one stars Michael Jai White, the original Spawn, as a character. Really, it's sort of Spawn. Because if you know anything about Spawn, he was sort of a military guy, assassin. Here he's a DEA commando. Um, and uh, he's on his way home and then... Uh, his daughter uh, finds a bunch of money in the floor of their house. So at the same time, Mickey Rourke, who plays the bad guy, is being released from prison. And he gets out, and here's a scene where he shows how tough he is. Um, and they're going to collect the money they stole, and it's uh, in the floor of their old house, which just happens to be Michael J. White's house and their family's house. So the daughter finds the money, but she's also having a party. I don't know what happens to the money. Um, and they decide to show up on that particular night to get their money back. So I don't know why you would just break into the house during a party, why you wouldn't go and wait them out. I mean, and then they do a rip off of the taken thing with her under the bed, call it her father. And uh, that that is really borrowing i mean look that's a t that's taken come on that's and they even pull her out in the at the end of the call come on don't don't do that don't steal from that um but michael jai white looks a little heavy for this but looks okay and he's got the moves he looks a little fat around the face though i'll say um mickey rourke of course looks way too old for this but he plays a good scumbag now so um you know uh, and it's January 7th, rated R for violence, strong violence, language throughout, some drug use, rated R. In theaters and on digital and on demand. Eh, it doesn't look, I mean, it looks like your standard movie. So the commando has to go back into his own house and kill uh, the, the bad guys. And, and then, you know, he fights Mickey Rock at the end because... That's what always happens, right? So, first act, uh, he's commando, and he's the best there is, and uh, now he's taking some time off to be with his family. Uh, second act, for some reason, the daughter finds money in the floor of the house. Uh, I don't know if she tells the father or not. Maybe he's taking it to, I don't know, whoever. Uh, and or he has to exchange the money, or maybe she doesn't tell them at all. I don't know. I, I assume that the daughter tells the father he takes the money, and he's gonna like take it to the DEA to get it analyzed and figure out whose money it is or whatever. Or he just puts it in his car to do that, and then you know he still has it in the car when, of course, Mickey Rourke and his guys show up to get the money, and um, rather than wait until you know, they can, you know, the house is mostly empty or completely empty because people leave their homes. They instead decide to raid the place during a party. Now, there'd be no chance that these guys could raid the place, you know, and be one of the party guests because it's all like kids. But, I mean, there's all sorts of scenarios you could get into their house. Here's, here's Mickey Rourke being tough. Look at his face, man. Look at his face is... Weird looking, um, and it's and look at his whole arm. It's he looks like his skin. It, he's wearing a skin bodysuit, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like his skin is loose? I mean, there's no denying he's a great actor. Don't get me wrong; he'll sell this. By the end of this movie, you'll want him dead. Um, and Michael J. Jai White is good too. He's good in action. You know, he's decent in it. I think he's a good lead. So, I, I think this will be okay. I mean, it'll be... It's my kind of movie, so I want to like it. So, be warned on that. First act, again, they find them, you know... Commando guy, she finds the money probably at the beginning of the second act. And then she has the party. And then Michael J. White and his wife go out, I don't know, for coffee. And then they come in, the third act. Second and third act is him killing all the guys. So, that's what's going to happen. And in the end, he kills... Kills Mickey Rourke, who for some reason doesn't just shoot him. Um, because that's what always happens in these movies. The Commando. Let's see. Okay. So we got some credits here. Story by 
Asif Akbar and Al Bravo, and Koji Steven Sakai. So it took three guys to come up with the story, written by Koji Steven Sakai, directed by Asif Akbar, um, and I guess Al Bravo was just a story guy. Um, so let's see. Jai White, Michael Jai White, and uh, we've got uh, Mickey Rourke. There's one guy I recognized. I guess that's Donald Cowboy Cerrone. I think I've seen him in movies before. Oh, and this is Al Bravo Film. So Al Bravo is probably one of the producers, or he owns the film company. So the three of them got together, came up with the story. Koji wrote the screenplay based on their suggestions, and then Asif directed it, and Al Bravo, you know, he raised the money and pulled all the investors together. Here's his daughter. Here's his uh, lovely wife. I'm going to kill these guys. <laughs> so I think, you know, this is pretty by-the-numbers kind of thriller movie. This is the sort of movie they would make in the 80s and 90s and 2000s, you know, when Die Hard got blew up. It was all about these movies. This is Die Hard in a House. Kind of. Not really. But, um, you know, it's one man has got to kill all the bad guys and save everybody else. It's kind of ridiculous, though, right? And it's kind of low budget because that's why it's all about the house, right? So it's all going to take place in the house. The money's in the house. He's going to kill all the guys in the house. And there's going to be all these obstacles because his daughter had the party and... There's going to be all these kids there who are taken hostage and some of them get away. And where are the cops? <laughs> you know, where, where again, you know, the downside is, again, I, I think these criminals, as they're, they're opportunists. And opportunists are at least shrewd enough to look at a house full of kids drinking and say, well, we can't just walk in there now. There's too many people. Best say, case scenario, you might have a young guy in your crew to roll up and try to pretend to be one of them and scout the place out, right? That would be the move. Like, let's get a young guy to go in there. Here's what we want you to do. We want, you know, if you can get the money, great. You know, and you'd be in and out of there, and then you just wait. You just wait until everybody left. Now, if the screenwriter is really, really smart, he has a reason for why they need to get the money. <clears throat> there'd be a time crunch on, oh, no, we got to get the money tonight. Or um, we know if we left this, let this commando guy comes back, we'll have to deal with him. So it'll be easy to deal with the kids. So they just roll in there. And really, why even wear masks? It's a bunch of kids, right? I guess if you intend on killing most of them, yeah, okay, wear masks. But either way, you just roll in there with guns and say, where's the room? Where's the Where's the money? I, I don't think the money's in there or else the movie would be over. They would get the money and leave. But I assume that it's like right back here. It's probably the package with the money right there. <laughs> he's got the money. He can exchange the money, get those guys out of there. But he's not going to do that. But this is kind of interesting, though. He's playing the kind of guy the Spawn character was before he becomes Spawn. So in a way, it could be a prequel to Spawn, right? This could be one of his many adventures before, before he became a superhero. Uh, so would I see this movie? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, Mickey Rourke and, you know, he can sell it. And that's really the key. We have the best actor as the villain. That's really the key. And he's going to sell this thing. By the end of this movie, you'll be like, yeah, get this guy. So I think it'll be a decent movie. I think it'll be worth watching. So I might watch it. It's, it's definitely in my wheelhouse. Um, oh, you could buy or rent it right here on, uh, oh no, that's the, that's the original Commando with Arnold Schwarzenegger. But, uh, I'm sure this one will be in the mix soon, so look for it January 7th, The Commando.